Hello everyone and welcome back. So in the last lecture we learned what is gradient of a scalar function and a geometrical significance of gradient of scalar function. So in this particular lecture we will do some simple examples on gradient of scalar function. Now let's see the first problem. Find the gradient of phi. So here phi is a scalar function and phi is how much? It is given phi is equals to 3x square y minus y cube z square. So we need to find the gradient of phi at which point? 1 minus 2 and then 1. So x equals to 1, y equals to minus 2 and z equals to 1. So gradient of phi means what? Nebula phi. So nebula phi is i cap del, uh, del phi by del x then j cap del phi by del y and then k cap del phi by del z. Now these are all partial, partial differential. So if we differentiate phi with respect to x, now see this is our phi, right? So this is phi, phi is 3x square y minus y cube z square. So what is del phi by del x? So when we differentiate with respect to phi means y and z are constant. So, differentiate here 3 and y is constant. So, if we differentiate x square, it is how much? Twice x minus. And then if we differentiate y cube, it will be 3y square and z square will remain same. Sorry, so there is no x, so it will become 0. Okay. So, what we will get? We will get 6xy. Then plus j cap into now del phi by del y. Del phi by del y. So, in the first term, we have to see that there is y or not. So, there is one y. So, except this y, 3x square is constant and differentiation. 3x square is constant and differentiation of y is how much? 1. Then here in the second term, we are since we are differentiating with respect to y, differentiation of y cube is how much? 3y square and z square will remain as it is. So, it will be 3x square minus 3y square z square. And then finally, k cap into del phi by del z so del phi by del z now in the first term there is no z so it will become zero in the second term minus so y cube is constant and the derivative of z square is how much 2z so we have minus 2 y cube z so this is gradient of phi okay gradient of phi now at which point you have to find the gradient at 1 minus 2 and then 1 so what we have to do in place of x we will put 1 and in place of y we will put minus 2 so it will be how much minus 12 i cap okay minus 12 i cap then here in place of x we will put 1 in place of y we will put minus 2 and in place of z we will put 1 so it will be how much uh, 3 then minus uh, 3 minus uh, 12 okay so 3 minus 12 is minus 9 j cap and then finally here in place of 2 will mi put minus 2 so minus 2 whole cube is minus 8 and then in place of z will put 1 so it will be minus minus plus 16 k so this is the answer so in some some problem maybe we are asked to find the the gray sorry uh, magnitude of gradient phi and then what we have to do we have to find minus 2 whole square in this problem this is not asked so no need but uh, for maybe in some problem we need to find this is also so what you have to do just simply you find the magnitude by taking what a square root so it's a very simple problem now let us go to the second problem now here phi is log of x square plus y square plus z square we need to find what gradient of phi so gradient of phi means nebula phi so it's again i del phi by del x plus j del phi by del y and then k del phi by del z so i del phi this is our phi right phi is how much log of some, something so if phi is log x square plus y square plus z square so when we uh, differentiate del phi by del x ddx of log x is how much 1 by x square plus y square plus z square okay log differential of log x is 1 by x again by chain rule if we differentiate this with respect to x then derivative of twice x is how much uh, derivative of x square is how much twice x and differentiation of y square is 0 differentiation of z square is how much 0 so what we have you have twice x divided by x square plus y square plus z square so it's how much twice x divided by 
x square plus y square plus z square. Similarly, j into then del phi by del y, it is exactly same. It will be 2y divided by x square plus y square plus z square and then k cube into twice z divided by x square plus y square plus z square. Now what we can take common, we can take 2 divided by x square plus y square plus z square common. So we will be left out with x i cap, then, uh, uh, then y j cap, and then what? z k cap, right? So this is equals to 2 into, we can write this as r square, and this will be our r bar. Okay, so the final answer is 2 r bar by r square. So maybe you are thinking that where from this r comes. So see, if we take r bar like this, no, x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap, then r means what? r is magnitude of r. So it's nothing but x square plus y square plus what? z square. So if we square it, then what we will get? x square plus y square plus z square. Now you see, this is our r bar and this x square plus y square plus this x square plus y square plus z square, you can write r square. So you can write this part in, at the beginning or maybe in the side note. Okay. Or suppose if you want to keep your answer like this, then you can uh, leave your answer here also because we have to find the value is not uh, prove that kind of problem. Okay, now let us come to the next problem. Now here R is mentioned, clearly mentioned. So R bar is how much? X i cap plus Y j cap plus Z k cap. So R, R means modulus R bar which is nothing but x square plus y square plus z square and our r square will be x square plus y square plus z square. Now one by one we will find, first what to find? We have to find uh, delta of r. So for this, suppose if we differentiate this particular equation, this relation uh, with respect to x, then what we will get? If we differentiate this with respect to x, derivative of r square is how much? 2r. Again it will be del r by del x, partial differentiation. And right side, since we are differentiating with respect to x, derivative of x square is how much? Twice x and derivative of y square and derivative of z square will become 0, since we are differentiating with respect to x. And here, why it is like this? Because r is dependent on x, y, z. Okay. So, 2 to cancel out, what you will what you'll get? Del r by del x is how much? x by r. So, similarly, if you find del r by del y, it will be y by r and then if you find del r by del z, it will be your what? z by r. Okay. Now let us do the first problem which is uh, nebula r means grade r. So we know that nebula means what? i del del x, j del del y plus k del del z r. So it will be how much i del r by del x, j del r by del y, and then k del r by del z. Now what we'll do, we'll put all the value, del r by del x. So we have find here, del r by del x is how much, x by r, then your j cap into uh, y by r, and then k cap into del z by, uh, sorry, z by r. So from each and every term we can take one by, one by r common. So what we'll get? We'll get x i cap, y j cap, and then so if you uh, omit a cap, then you can omit cap. Otherwise, in each and every term we'll write the cap. Okay. So if you omit, then also it will be no problem. And then z k cap. So our answer is one by r, and this is nothing but what r bar. So this is the first answer, r bar by r. Now second one is, second one is we have to find nebula what? 1 by r, nebula 1 by r. So again, it will be what? i cap del del x of 1 by r, j cap uh, del del y of 1 by r, k cap del del z of 1 by r. 
so i cap so now differentiation of 1 by r is how much ddx of 1 by r is minus 1 by r square and for r del r by del x similarly other minus minus 1 by r square then del r by del y then k cap into minus 1 by r square del r by what del z so minus minus 1 by r square you can take common right from each and every term now it's i cap into del r by del x is how much it is x by r j cap into y by r k cap into uh, z by r okay z by r again you see what we can take common from each and every time again one more r we can common so it will become r cube so you will get x i cap okay x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap so minus 1 by r cube and this is nothing but what r bar okay r bar so this answer is r bar by minus 1 by r cube into r bar so one more problem is left out which is uh, nebula of log r right nebula of log r so it's i cap into del del x of log r then j cap into del del y of log r and then k cap into del del z of what log r so we know that derivative of log r is how much is 1 by r and then for r del r by del x j cap 1 by r del r by del y plus k cap 1 by r del r by del z so let us take 1 by r common so it's i cap into del r by del x is what it's x by r j cap into y by r k cap into z by r so again what we can take common one more one by r we can take common so r square and what is left out x i cap y j cap z k cap so this is nothing but what r bar so this is the answer is r bar divided by r square okay so this problem is again very simple so let us take one more interesting problem which is uh, we have to show that nebula r to the power n is this one so for that let us take r bar equals to x i cap y j cap plus z k cap so then r is our how much modulus r bar which is root over x square plus y square plus z square so means what we can write x square plus y square plus z square whole to the power 1 by 2 so what is r to the power n then r to the power n is our x square plus y square plus z square to the power what n by 2 okay n by 2 so if we differentiate this with respect to x then what we will get suppose del del x of r to the power n so what we have to write del del x of x square plus y square plus z square whole to the power n by 2 now if we differentiate this suppose this is x this whole term is x so this is of the form x to the power n so derivative of x to the power n is what n by 2 and then x to the power x to the power what n minus 1 now again by chain rule we have to differentiate this right with respect to x so if we differentiate x square what we will get we will get twice x is it all right so let us consider this whole term as x so x to the power n derivative of x to the power n is n into x to the power n minus 1 and then since we are supposing that this is as x so we have to differentiate it again with respect to x and derivative of this term with respect to x is how much twice x because derivative of y square is 0 and derivative of z square is also 0 so here 2 to cancel out so you have n into x square plus y square plus z square and then if we take lc uh, okay so it's n by 2 minus 1 into how much x now see what is x square plus y square plus z square x square plus y square plus z square is nothing but r square so you can write r square okay and if you take the lcm so it will be n minus 2 by 2 right into x 
so here 2 to cancel out so how much you will get n into r to the power n minus 2 into x so this is our del del x of r to the power n okay del del x of r to the power n similarly if you find del del y of r to the power n then it will be n into r to the power n minus 2 into y and then maybe you are thinking that why, why we are finding all this so just uh, after this particular line you will understand del del z of r to the power n so this is n into r to the power n minus 2 into how much z so just find out one and similarly you can write others or maybe this this much calculation you can uh, do later also so what we need to find delta r to the power n so means we have to find gradient of r to the power n so it's nothing but i cap i cap del del x of r to the power n now you understand no, why we find this del del x of r to the power n see we find no, del del x of r to the power n because we need this one plus j cap into del del y of r to the power n and then k cap into del del z of r to the power n so just you simply put the value how much it is uh, n into r to the power n minus 2 into x similarly j cap into n r to the power n minus 2 into y and then k cap into n r to the power n minus 2 into how much z so from each and every time we can take n r to the power n minus 2 common so what will be left out x i cap y j cap plus z k cap okay so this is n into r to the power n minus 2 and this is nothing but what r bar okay so this is the answer so i think you like all the problems because problems are very very interesting simple derivative okay only partial differentiation is there so in the next lecture we'll do some more problems on different topics like uh, in gradient we have some other other topics also like uh, how to find directional der derivative so those things we'll discuss in the next lecture so thank you for watching kindly subscribe and share